Well, today we're looking at a Mego set, although it's not produced by Mego, this was produced by uh, EMCE, uh, who had a Mego license, I think, for a while, so they could make Mego style figures using the same sort of bodies. Um, I think they were, I can't remember whether they were deemed as quite high quality or low. I think they were high. Certainly this set looks nice. And these are in B&M at the moment, um, the British chain of stores. So online, these sets seem to go for like 50, 60, 70 quid. Um, but in B&M, they've got them for 15 quid each. So uh, I saw the Thor one today, so I thought I'd pick it up because it looks quite good. So you get like a reproduction classic figure and then two alternate costumes. So this one you get a deluxe Thor, which looks really nice. And then you get Don Blake. I don't know who he is. I didn't sort of read the Thor comics. In the films, he certainly doesn't have an old alter ego, but I'm presuming this is like the Thor in real life, or, you know, in non-superhero life, in real life. So I'm not, not sure. So what we're gonna do is open this up, have a look. Uh, I've got a couple of these. So you've got, so it's Diamond Select, of course, so they did these Star Trek ones as well. So I think pretty good quality. So it looks like uh, there was Thor, Wolverine, Captain America, that'd be a good one to get, and Spider-Man, that'd be another good one. And they appear to be numbered, limited edition, so this is 925 of 3,200. And I also picked up a second set. I thought 15 quid each, can't go wrong. Um, and that was 161 of 3,200, so quite a nice low one. So this is the one I'm gonna open. The other one I shall leave sealed. And you get reproduction 1970s Thor figure with hammer and removable helmet. Collector mini magazine. I presume that's what's behind there. Don Blake costume head and accessories. Which is him. Deluxe Thor costume, head, helmet and hammer. Head, helmet and hammer. That sounds like it should be a, a shop range, doesn't it? Like Bed Bath and Beyond. Come to head, helmet and hammer. Okay, so uh, I'm going to open this up and we'll have a look. Okay, so actually looks really nice. So you get a old style uh, boxed figure. That is lovely. There's cellophane and everything, and that's of the old saw. And then you get quite a bit in it. So I'm presuming this guy's a doctor then, so he's in scrubs. And it's a walking stick. So I'm presuming, is that his hammer in disguised? Uh, stethoscope, nice pair of shoes. Is that, I don't know, that's a mask. Is that a mask and a doctor's hat? And then deluxe Thor, you get nice costume. I do like this sort of chain mail looking stuff. A lovely pair of boots. Spare pair of hands and a chrome helmet. So what I'm going to do is get all the parts out and we'll have a look at the figure and then we'll change them around and show each one dressed up. Okay, so the magazine you get is really quite nice. So it's like a little sort of mini magazine telling you the history of of uh, Thor as a plastic figure. So it basically goes through all the different types of Thor there were. Goes through the history of the Marvel MCU films, um, how he evolved in the comics, how his story changed. And it goes right through and then tells you basically how they created this replica. So that's really rather good. I don't know much about Thor in the comics, so that'll be quite an interesting read. The Thor, 1970s Thor figure, so it looks really nice. The only trouble is the red on the sleeve parts really has stained the arms badly. Um, so we have to be interesting to see. Also, he has horrible helmet hair. Which I know the original was like that, wasn't it? I don't know how close this is to the original. I don't remember ever seeing boots like that. 
Um, it seems like a really good solid body, much better than the the Mega ones they're doing at the moment, which are quite soft plastic. Um, but yeah, nice retro figure. But what I'm going to do is pop this one apart, and then we can uh, pop the other uniforms on. But let's have a look at the uniforms. So the Doctor's one, you get Scrub's top, Scrub's trousers, a white lab coat that's really handy to have isn't it with actual working buttons a pair of shoes a stethoscope and a stick oh you you get uh thor's hammer which i won't try and pronounce more near something like that um on the deluxe one you get a nicer hammer better paint apps you get a different helmet you get rather good boots um, or the doctor, you also got uh, a surgical mask and a scrub hat. That'd be fun putting that on it. So we'll look at the uh, sculpts. That's quite nice. You could use that as like a generic, if you want to do a Star Trek security guard or something like that. It's quite a nice sculpt. Deluxe Thor. I like that one. I prefer the molded hair. To the mad hair. Um, so you also get a whole set of hands, so you get hands for holding, which would make it more figure-like than Mego-like. They're quite nice. Um, the uniform is very nice. It's pleather, all plastic accents. The cape actually poppers on and off, which is a good touch. Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Let's take the clothes off Thor and have a look at his body and then we'll have a look at him as the Doctor and then as Ultimate Thor. Okay so the head comes off really easily um, the body is screwed together which is unusual, Migos weren't screwed together um, which has left huge gaps so they might need doing up. It feels nice and solid, the clothing has stained everywhere it's sort of touched which is a shame but I suppose most people won't be opening these but yeah, that's a nice, it's a good body that. I say it feels much higher quality, much better string in on it. It's not as tight. Um, so let's get uh, this done up as Dr. whatever his name was, Frank something or other. Um, and let's see what he looks like. Well, the doctor's outfit is sort of half and half. So the actual uniform is quite good and much better than I thought. And I love the coat. The surgical helmet and my face mask doesn't quite work. Um, it's a nice touch, but also the elastic was broken on mine straight out of the packet. So that needs a bit sewn up. But if you take that off and you know, just use them as doctor, then I think it's quite a nice outfit. I'll say the, the surgical coat is great. Um, probably not one to display them in. I suppose you could buy three bodies and do all three. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice extra to have. Um, let's see what it looks like as Thor. Well, it was incredibly difficult to get him into this outfit um, because of the way the head has solid hair. Probably heated up, it would work better. Um, but I almost feel like I got him into this. Probably won't get him out. Um, cracking outfit though. Looks really good. Uh, I've put the other hands in. Uh, the boots are great. I think this is a superb, certainly the best of the three figures. So I think I'll probably leave him like this and get a spare Mego to make a. Perhaps use one of, the, of my old Star Trek figures I got multiples off from the, um, the new Mego range to do the classic Thor. Um, but yeah, these are great. Um, the Doctor's outfit, bit of a throwaway. Um, can't really see many people wanting to have the Doctor, but it is nice to have a, a white jacket. I might find uses for that. Um, it's lovely to have the boxed original Thor. Like I say, I'm going to make another Mego to do that one. But this, I think, is worth the 15 quid alone. He's a great figure. Really nice sculpt. Looks great. Well designed, like I say. 
probably warm the head up before you try and put it on otherwise it's uh, it's very difficult but yeah um i'm gonna keep an eye out for the other ones i'd love to get the spider-man one if spider-man fan um but yeah if you see these i think for 15 quid you can't go wrong um let me know if you've got different ones in your uh, local b&m or if you've got them at all i don't know how long i think they're quite old aren't they because Mego took the license back ages ago um but yeah well worth the effort well thanks for watching if you want to see more stuff like this please let me know uh, please like and subscribe uh, about 80% uh, of my viewing figures come from people that aren't subscribed so it'd be really helpful if you could and thanks for watching i'll see you again next time thanks then bye